Good morning. It is now the next day. I went ahead and ordered, well, last night I ordered our continental breakfast, and this is included. This is no extra charge. Of course, I did leave a tip. This looks really good. We may have to do this a little bit more, huh? What do you think, babe? I really love this. We've never done it. So it's so convenient. We don't have to deal with yeah. the crazy buffet. I know, morning. right? Because <laughs> Marceline Market is a little smaller than Cabana's. And this is our view this morning. It's a sea day. We're just out in the middle of the ocean. And here's our pastries. We got some donuts. And look at these jams. What? Okay, first of all, the bed was beyond comfortable. Extremely comfortable. And that's every Disney cruise ship. Something about their beds and with this bed being so new because the Disney Wish is so new, be prepared because it feels like you are sleeping on a cloud. Even Adri said the bunk bed was very comfortable. I think now we are going to go to the gym, hopefully get a good 30 to 45 minute workout in. We've already had a pretty good breakfast. The coffee, it was okay, but I really enjoyed just the convenience of having that continental breakfast delivered to our room and I think I may do that at least one more time during the duration of this cruise. We do have dinner at 1923 tonight, which I am very excited about. And we'll just see where the day takes us. Adri wanted to come check out the Ocean Air Club and she really loves this place. She's about to come down this slide because for the kiddos, this is how you enter the club. And here it is, Disney's Ocean Air Club. We just had a solid 30 minute workout. I like this gym, it had everything that we needed. I will definitely be back. They have towels, cold towels, water, and fresh fruit available. Next up, we picked up Adri from the Oceaneer Club, and now we're here to get coffee from the Wishing Star Cafe here on deck four. Cheers, my love. Cheers, babe. Made it back to the room. I just absolutely love this bed runner. I wanna buy one if I can. But I love coming back to the stateroom and everything is cleaned. Yes. And this happens like twice, maybe three times a day. Yes. Pretty much every time you leave the room. And then look what our awesome stateroom host did. She organized all of our cables and phone chargers with Velcro strips. Just the Disney touch. I love that, I think that's awesome. Absolutely. As we're walking down the hallways, we see all these cute doors. We are watching Beauty and the Beast on Funnel Vision. I know the frame rate is off right now, but here's a look at the main pool deck as today is a day at sea. So everybody is out and about. There's the Aqua Mouse right there. I cannot wait to experience that for the first time. I ordered us some drinks because it's hot out here. You know, we're living our life here on vacation. I got, of course, my old fashioned with Buffalo Trace. I got Adri a strawberry banana smoothie and Bianca got a virgin pina colada. Hold on, wait a minute. Are they playing Beyonce from the Lion King album? I love that album. We did not hear this on the other cruise lines. Wow. Thank you, Wish. Wepa! <laughs> We're living our life. It is now lunchtime. I went to Donald's Cantina, and look at this. It's basically a build your own bowl from Chipotle. I got chicken, all the toppings on there, and then Adri got cheese pizza. Is it good? Yeah. And Bianca got tacos. One is pork and one is beef. And my build your own bowl was absolutely amazing. It was up there with Chipotle. If not, maybe a little better. I'm still so surprised at the quality of this food here on the Disney Wish. And you did not have to pay extra for guac. Everything was included. However, that was just the appetizer. I went to Mickey's Smokehouse Barbecue. And look at this. Ribs, potato salad, barbecue chicken, greens, mac and cheese. Let's do this. Now we are watching our favorite movie to watch as a family, Moana. We all have the itis right now. That food was absolutely delicious. The barbecue was even better than the build your own bowl. Both were really good, but so far the food quality has been absolutely outstanding. Even Adri has the uh, 
Ibis right now. <laughs> I do want to point out, I thought that I would not like the pool situation on this ship because Disney put the pools everywhere on the main pool deck and up on deck 12. You know, I'm used to just one main pool here and then you have the adult area, but honestly, I really like the pool situation very spacious i also don't understand and if you know please let me know down in the comments it's like every 30 minutes or so they will make everybody get out of the pool for like 10 15 minutes and then they will allow you back in the pool is that just due to like cleaning i think but yeah it's pretty nice we're just chilling and enjoying our time horn will be sounded from the forward funnel and this will mark the exact time of 12 noon thank you back to the room we changed we took a little bit of a nap and some showers now let's head back down to mickey's main cell to hopefully do some shopping just a little bit <laughs> Ooh, i already found something that i want for 70 dollars. we have a nike polo with the inaugural sailings and it says disney wish i like this a lot there's also a water bottle here fancy there's another one on the other side. I don't really care for this color though. They have a Disney Wish Lounge Flight backpack. I like the color. This is $95. Here's a shirt with Captain Mickey, a children's dress, a zip up jacket, another children's long sleeve. You can also find some matching Minnie Mouse ears and these are $45. Here's a few women's tees. That one's cool. Bianca really likes this t-shirt, but they only have size small and double XL. Here's a Nike long sleeve. I thought this was a corksicle, but it is not. But it does have the DCL logo right there on the side. And this is $25. I found a few Disney Wish pins. There's Captain Mickey. Here's the Make-A-Wish pin with the wish and then we have captain minnie down here i found a different disney wish lounge flight backpack with the fab five characters and the cruise line emblem and then you have the ship on there as well right here you have a disney wish bag with cinderella and this is 45 dollars they have a disney wish hat and then i do like this long sleeve but I don't know. I feel like it's too red for me. They have a tank top. Looks like they are limited on sizes in a lot of the different items on this selling. Here's a woman's tee and you have matching sweats. Here's another Disney Wish cup. A zip up jacket. That's the front. And here's the back. I like the hood. There you go. I kind of like this shirt, but again, I feel like it's too red for me. And then you have a polo and another shirt. And then you have a sweater with Captain Mickey on the front and a Disney Wish patch right there. This is $50. Anything on the back? Nothing. Oh my goodness. They just put out a few more of the Christmas shirts. These are women's tees. I don't know. They don't really look Christmassy to me, but they only have Again, select sizes here, and these are $36.99. Here's what they have as far as Minnie Mouse headbands aboard the Disney Wish. I've seen all of these on the other cruise ships. I found some coffee mugs. That one's cute. There's the characters. There's Donald, Stitch, Pirate Stitch. Oh, there's a Captain Minnie Mouse coffee mug. I found a different spirit jersey. I like this one. Look at Goofy. Oh my goodness. And there's the front. These are $80. And then look at these ears. I don't know what Disney was thinking. I don't really like these ears. They're a lot. But I mean, if you do, I mean, kudos to you. Those are just not my cup of tea. As far as Christmas merch goes, again, they don't really have anything left. Just a few Christmas ornaments. I like the snowman. There's a Christmas tree. Oh, here's a better look at the Christmas tree. 
ornament with the different logos on there and characters. I like this one too, of Minnie and Mickey. And then here's Captain Mickey with a Captain Snowman. I like this print a lot. I found the Dooney and Burke purses. Those are nice. This is what we are buying. I did pick this one out. And then we are getting Adri this cute two-piece set. I think she's going to wear this at Castaway Key, right, babe? And then what'd you get? Oh, that's cute. I like that. What? This Donald Duck in his holiday sweater. Also, here in the Grand Hall, since this is a Christmas cruise, you can find a real gingerbread tower. Look at this. It smells like gingerbread and icing and goodness. There's snowman. I like this a lot. Let's go check out the Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge. This is the one thing that I absolutely had to do on this cruise, and it's located right across from the bayou. And as of this sailing, you don't need any kind of reservations to enter Hyperspace Lounge, but I do know after 9 p.m., it's adults only. Look at this. Thank you so much, sir. Here's the bar. There's some places to sit. I like it. I mean, I was expecting just a little bit more because it kind of just feels like I'm in a Star Wars room. But for the most part, this is awesome as a Star Wars fan. I can't wait to see what they have to drink. I'm looking over the menu, they have some really good options. I think I may get this Tatooine Freetown Reserve because it's basically their version of an old fashioned. All right, I'm kind of impressed with this menu. Let's see how they taste. They also have a wine selection and they have a few galaxy brews. Of course, you have a few mocktails to choose from. Oh yeah. All the way down at the bottom, you can find the $5,000 drink. That is one expensive drink to have. I will not be purchasing it, but you can also find a Coaxium Trio for $200. Got some waters to start with. Thank you. How fancy. I am so excited to try this. Cheers. It's still a little smoky. That is really good. How is really it good. drinking it out of a, like a wine glass? It's different drinking it out of a wine glass, yeah. but it's not that big of a difference. It's not too overpowering, not too strong. There's a little bit of bitterness to it. and. The ice cube is BB-8. How cool is that? Oh, I'm loving this. We also got some dried fruit and some pretzels, but the pretzels are a little stale, but the dried fruit, really good. Our server was able to go across the way over to the bayou to get Bianca a, what did you get? Cappuccino. Cappuccino. Also, look how sparkly my old fashioned is. I was not expecting this. That's kind of cool. Well, Carlos, what do you think? As a Star Wars fan, it's pretty awesome. I could stay here for hours. Absolutely. We will. <laughs> what drink is this again? The Chancellor. What? Holy moly, that's so cool. Thank you so much. I'm waiting for it to explode any minute now. We're just waiting and waiting. 
is thinking about it. It looks so perfect. Look at that. Oh, we got some more action happening. This drink really is even good. better than the Tatooine drink. And Bianca approves. This is good. I had two sips. It's delicious. I feel like it's like raspberry lemonade with a twist. That's dangerous. Very. Very dangerous. <laughs> Our server just told us a total of 27 people have ordered the Kyber Crystal Drink, which is the $5,000 experience that you can purchase here in the Hyperspace Lounge. I mean, I would like to try it, but no drink is worth $5,000 to me, at least. But maybe one day, but not this trip. <laughs> We're leaving now, but I did want to point out, I know it says a maximum of 45 minutes per group, but we were in there a little bit more than an hour, so I think it just really depends on how busy the lounge is. We just left the Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge. So far, that has been the funnest thing I've personally done on this cruise. This is a can't miss thing here on the Disney Wish. I had so much fun. Now we are doing some arts and crafts here in the bayou. Adria is making a Christmas ornament in the shape of a Mickey. That's what the Christmas ornaments will look like when they're done. And now Bianca is making one for our Christmas tree as well. Great job girls. Look at that. Two brand new Christmas ornaments for the tree. Since we're here, we did order three more beignets, one each, just because these are really good. We love beignets. Back in the Grand Hall, we have Santa out. We have Mickey Mouse out. And then over here, there's Goofy. This view just gets me every time we cruise. You guys hear that? Nothing but peace. There's the sun right there. My goodness. How you feeling, babe? Amazing. Wonderful. All right. We are all refreshed. We are changed. We are all very excited to go watch the Little Mermaid Broadway show inside of the Walt Disney Theater. And then after the show, we have dinner at 1923. Let's go do this. I had to come out on the veranda one more time because it's golden hour as the sun is setting. How pretty is this jeez this is absolutely incredible oh there's a shipping boat right over there wow and here we are back down on deck three about to head inside the new walt disney theater look at the stage this theater is so beautiful it has received a major upgrade here on the Disney Wish. I mean, it looks pretty much the same as the other Walt Disney theaters on the other Disney cruise ships, but I like this one a lot. We are so excited to see The Little Mermaid. I also got the girls a refillable popcorn bucket because to refill it, it's only $1.50 during the duration of our cruise. All right, guys, I am doing a giveaway in this video. I went ahead and picked up the brand new sipper. I think this is a reindeer. For the Christmas cruise, it is only being sold, well, I've been told it's only being sold here on the Disney Cruise Line ships and also over at Disneyland. So all you have to do to win this, make sure you like this video, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and leave a comment down below and I will randomly select one of you to win the sipper, US only. However, I am not allowed to film the show, so I will talk to you guys after. Holy cow, I have to talk about the Broadway performance of The Little Mermaid. That show was absolutely incredible. I enjoyed every single moment of that show. The acting, the singing, 
Everything was awesome. I do have to say Ursula, holy cow. She was fantastic. We actually sat in front of her family and the hype in the theater was amazing. I, I just enjoyed that. I feel like that's my favorite show out of all of the Broadway shows on all of the Disney cruise ships. I still really love Beauty and the Beast. I still think that may be like my favorite, but I feel like it's a tie now with The Little Mermaid. I've seen Frozen. We still have not seen Aladdin. That's actually going to be performed on day four. Oh yeah, and I really don't understand the like bad reviews from The Little Mermaid because in the beginning, when The Wish first started to sell in July and August, there were a lot of negative reviews and I don't know why because I absolutely loved it. Wait, hold on. Why am I just now realizing we have robes inside of our closet? Bianca just told me. I don't know how I missed this on my tour from yesterday, but here they are. We have robes again. Check it out. These are very nice. Very light and soft. My first day. <laughs> no way. Thank you so much. Look at that. And this is called the stepmother. This drink is absolutely delicious. This has been the best drink I've had on The Wish this far. I love this lounge. The vibe is amazing. It is beautiful in here. The bartenders are amazing. I feel like this may be my favorite bar other than Hyperspace Lounge. Well, I think I may like this more than Hyperspace Lounge, actually, so I will definitely be back. This may be my new Cove Cafe. I'm sorry, I never mentioned where we are. We are here at Nightingale's. There's their signature drink right there on the bird. Oh man, everything looks amazing here. This place is dangerous. Look at that. Let's just skip dinner. <laughs> I'm sure they can. We gotta be responsible. <laughs> Tonight we're having dinner here at 1923 on the Roy Disney side. Ooh, this place is real fancy. I'm not going to lie, I have been very excited about dinner all day as I've been browsing the menu just because this menu is so powerful. Everything looks so good. There's your appetizers, your salads. We get bread service this evening. But look at the main entrees. They have a 1923 peppered filet mignon. That is what I'm going to order. I may have two of them, we'll see. Oh no, roll down. Here's some vegetarian options. <laughs> you have some lighter notes. Man, I'm so excited that filet mignon is on the menu. And here's a look at the kids menu. Everything sounds really good. Ooh, they have a chicken pot pie. Look at their desserts. My, oh my. And then they have some games. Looks like you can learn how to draw Oswald. Yum. <laughs> Starting off with my appetizer and I got a Shelly Temple. Adrian and I got some chocolate milk and we're waiting for her tomato soup. It is now time for dessert. Look at this menu. Can we just have one of everything? <laughs> no, not really. I think I may get the churros or this signature dessert, which is a Burbank blueberry lemon Bavarian cream. Oh, geez. It's game over right now. They are playing Mariah Carey here in the Grand Hall. Yes. We are back inside of the Hero Zone. We are here to do the silent dance party where everybody wears a pair of headphones. There's three different DJs and just listen to some tunes and have a good time. Made it back to the room and tonight's towel animal, I think it's a dinosaur, <laughs> maybe. 
But regardless, we have more chocolate. All right, my friends, I am going to go ahead and end the video here. It's been such a fantastic cruise and we're just about halfway done. I think the Disney Wish has the potential by the time I get off this ship in two days to be my new favorite Disney cruise ship. I don't know yet. The fantasy is still my number one. The fantasy is my baby. I love that cruise ship, but there's just something about the Disney Wish. I love it. My only complaint thus far is the elevator system. I think it's just done very poorly. It's not the smartest. Yeah, there's more elevators, but they are very small and narrow and they run extremely slow. I don't even have a problem with the missing mid elevators because I can work around that. But my bigger issue is with the small elevators. But other than that, everything has been great. Dinner at 1923. Amazing. It was delicious. Those filet mignons were just perfect everything the desserts the appetizers and the atmosphere of that restaurant that has been my favorite restaurant i mean arendelle was good but 1923 i've heard really good things and it was amazing we still have worlds of marvel coming up but tomorrow we're back at 1923 because it's pirate night thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all on YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming.